That shit right there, man. Fucking classic Who's material that? right there, man. From Rebel America. Been there, done that, man. Missouri City, Texas. That should be cracking me up, man. When you got a state and then they name a city after another state. That should be silly for some reason, but anyway. <laughs> what? Check Hang out a second. <laughs> nah, man. Fucking, you got what fucking fuck? Michigan City, Indiana. What oh, the yeah, fuck yeah, is yeah. that? It's not, you know what I'm saying? This shit's always... It, oh, never mind, man. I'm, I'm, on some, <laughs> I'm on some other shit. But yeah, check them out at myspace.com slash Rebel America LLC, man. And right now on the line, man, we got Ride Out and Terry Cole. Ooh, ooh. How y'all doing, man? Hey, we're very good. What's good? What's good? How y'all? Hey, guys, oh, man, we doing good over here, man. Doing what we do. And the name of the what song up, was... The name, what was the name of the song? Ways, Ways to Lose Detroit. That yeah. shit, the sample, the, that, that, my God, man, I swear to God, even today, I was looping that shit. I, I'm not even bullshitting. I was looping <laughs> that shit the whole way here, you guys. That's that shit, yeah, No yeah. doubt, man, that shit is, psst, come on. Yeah, so who did it? I who, pretty much abused Jill Scott Heron. So. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> no, you did, you did a great job with that. No, nah, no doubt, man. <laughs> so who, now who's the producer in the camp? Terry. Terry, yeah, okay. Terry Cole. Terry Cole, okay, man. So the beat was banging. Um, how'd y'all come up with the concept? I mean, like you guys. Yeah, you're from Ohio. From Ohio, right? Well, well yeah. uh, okay. Go ahead, hey, Louis. <laughs> Terry's, Terry's from Ohio. I'm from Detroit. Okay. Oh, 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 oh okay. I Be got down. you. Okay. So, yeah, dude, we who went, submitted it was from Ohio. I got you. Yeah, but Terry, like we um we we went to uh, we went to Miss I mean uh, Miami University together. And that's, so that's how, Yeah, that's in Ohio. That's in Ohio. So yeah, that's I'm, how we I'm, got this. I'm from Middletown, which is about a half an hour and away from Oxford, and we met there like three years ago, I guess. Yeah. We played in a band called Soundscape, which is basically a, a hip-hop funk band, and I decided that I was going to start making beats uh, in like December of 06, and basically I made about, you know, basically the first 12 beats became this album. Oh no shit! <laughs> Bang them out. That's it. That's, yeah. that's damn good for just starting back in '06, though. For me. Yeah, I mean, it, it pretty much just kind of kind of took a life of its own. Like uh, Terry started messing around with the with the beats or whatever, and uh, he had a he had a project like independent study for class where he was gonna produce some songs and I was gonna rap on. Them. Then they just kind of kept on building and building, and you know. Pretty much next thing you know, it took about a year, but next thing you know, we had an album. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, was, was Terry spitting on that track? No, it was, it was all me. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Right. It sounded like two different dudes. Did you do the verses like at two different times or something? No. no oh, okay. <laughs> it sounded like no. two different dudes for some reason. I don't know why. No, nah, yeah, no, the, the whole the whole thing is it's only me on the on the album. Okay, Terry, Terry says word at the end of the album. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what that's what I was getting at because um, Terry said in an email that he's he he's a teacher. Yeah, yeah, and, and it's like, wow, dude, how can you rap and be a teacher? How do you explain that shit? Does Teach a fucking school youth. does a school be like, hey man, hey, 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 hey? That's pretty awesome enough having to explain to students that I'm uh, in a hip-hop band, which totally gives me street credibility. I'm like, hey. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. You got to get your books, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> when I come in, you know, when I come in and they're, you know, sometimes I sub and I come in and they look at me and, you know, this short, long hair white guy and, you know, whatever. And then I come in, I'm like, I'm in a hip-hop band. I'll say it nonchalantly. But then they're just like, oh, he's a hip-hop band. Wow. <laughs> Let's go run his pockets no, for that's me. Crazy. He, he, he's rocking students, the Rick Rubin look. Do your students be listening to your tracks too, or yeah? What you say? So do your students be listening to your music too? Actually, uh, yeah, I've been basically playing seeds. Like I and I have my younger brother who goes to the high school that I graduated from, mm -hmm. and I basically just having him solicit all his students. Hey. All yeah. his students. Damn. Pretty much indoctrination. That's what we were going for. We're just, <laughs> that's oh, yeah. Why not? <laughs> we want to exploit the youth as, as any way we can. Exactly. I'm I'm raising a whole generation of people that will buy things from the label. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's really what it's about. Go my records. We were the kids. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> they got money. Now <laughs> 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 The whole, the whole concept of the album basically was kind of just me. I'm right. Big, I'm big into jazz and soul. Right. Uh, so that comes through a lot in the album because the album's kind of a. Mm. It's half and half as far as uh, we had a lot of people come in, lay down live tracks, live organ, live Wurlitzer, uh horns, yeah. and things like that. So it's a. It's, you guys heard "Ways to Lose Detroit" is is all sampled, but it's a it's a good mix. It's a, it's kind of a throwback to. 
When's that uh, album dropping? Because I gotta hear it now. Oh, it's out, man. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, it's out. What's okay. the name of the album? It's, it's called the, the city. city. Yeah. What is it? The city. The city. city. Okay. Yeah, man. It's a. Uh, it's it's available uh, right now. It's available on uh, the coal mine. Uh, the coal mine records. Uh, MySpace page is available on my okay. personal. Yeah. Go ahead, Terry. <laughs> If you go to coalminerecords.com, like C-O-L-E-M-I-N-E records.com, you can get it there. Okay. And also, uh, we got picked up by uh, DustyGrooves.com yeah, also. Oh, no shit. Yeah, and we're, we're working out right now. We're in the we're in the middle of uh, getting a, a digital uh, a digital distribution deal. So we'll basically, so pretty soon we'll basically be on everything online. <laughs> Damn. Oh, that's cool. Well, that kind of brings us to something we was going to offer you guys, man. Um, the winners get a CDBaby.com subscription. Oh, yeah. yeah, so that's another spot, man. We'll be giving you all the information for your account, and you guys get a free account over there. And a lot of you know people that go to CD Baby are looking for indie music. So that's what's up. Yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll throw you on what is it? iTunes, Napster, all that shit. Yeah. They do it for you too. Oh, yeah. word. Okay. That's yeah, yeah. What's up. yeah. Cool. Oh, then people can uh, get more of uh, me uh, slapping hoes on track. Hell yeah! <laughs> what do you say? Word. Getting money and putting twenty word. inch wheels on the whip. <laughs> <Hell yeah. laughs> Actually, actually, I I gotten tired of slapping hoes, so I tried to do something different on it. Though. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go back to it on the next album, though. No, the track. I gotta, I gotta yeah. keep it gangster. That's right. When all is fair, <laughs> go back to slapping bitches. The track's <laughs> evidence. The track's <laughs> evidence. I think you're some sort of gangster. Gonna be right. like, this, this was my blatant attempt to get on Oprah. Then after that, <laughs> <laughs> after that, man, it's, it's all bottles in the club. Wow. All bottles in the club. Oh uh, yeah, I ain't mad at that, man. You do this is crazy. Hey, man, anything you want to get out there? To the listeners, man, get your. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, Mr. Cole. we're. Uh, this is the first release on the label, and we're definitely looking to release some, you know, some funk, some more hip hop, and some more soul stuff on the label. Definitely vinyl. I want to get a forty-five out this summer, but uh, I mean, yeah, just I guess just keep on the look and. And uh, uh, all I want to say is check uh, more music out at www.myspace.com slash ride out. That's R I D E O U T, right. <laughs> and uh, hopefully uh, we'll be doing a we'll be doing a, a Midwest uh, a Midwest tour in September. So all uh, the dates will be posted on the on the MySpace on the Coal Mine Records and right out. So check us out, yeah. No, and thanks for voting. Let us thanks know when you come to Detroit. Yeah, oh, man. Get hey, hold on, yo, is this is this show out of Detroit? Well, we're we, out of, we're in Lansing, today, really. Today we really? in Lansing. Yep. Are you guys from Lansing? I am. Yeah, I'm from Lansing. I went to uh, I went to East Lansing High School. Boo! <laughs> Oops! <laughs> Oops! Did I did I do that? Did I do that? Did oh, the Vi- did the Vikings come through with the boo? <laughs> yeah, you got you got Lansing section and Lansing ever in the building. Hey, so. hey, that's what's up. Hey, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man, when y'all come to Michigan, man, get up with us and um, get some more music over to us too, man. We love to spend some more. Oh, most oh, definitely, definitely, man. All right, man. Y'all be easy. You too, man. All right, All right. peace. Peace. Good dudes, man. Good dudes. No doubt, man. Look at that Trojan. Trojan. That Trojan part kind of fucked me up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I'm be, not even going to lie. Yo, and I be getting mad, man, but I, man, yo, the Trojans, when it come to football, yo, they used to whoop everybody ass. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That shit pissed me off. All man. you listeners, this is from fucking Lansing shit right. that none of us. Yeah, none of y'all will even relate yeah. to it, but I'm sure yeah. anybody out there, I know y'all got that one school that you hate, but they be kicking your school's ass at something. Yeah. Whether you, it's you basketball can't, or you football. You can't do nothing but be like, damn. Damn. That's I hate so, them motherfuckers. So that was a jealous you, boo then. That was, that, I mean, it's no jealousy mm-hmm. in me, baby. Just, <laughs> that Every was, school had that thing. That was pride. That was that was uh, that was me just representing. I'm I'm a boo regardless. Like in Flint, what was the sports school? Probably Northern. Yeah, Northern. And then what school had the most hoes? Central. See, you know, see, ever was both of those. Just, ever was no. both of those, and they uh, were the other ones. Sports, they are okay. <laughs> They football team sucked for like we forever. had mad hoes. Yeah, but they had that. They were pissed yeah. off all the time. What's yeah. that? Who was pissed uh-huh. off? The hoes. No, I mean why not? They were said they were mad. I don't know. Okay. Mad hoes. <laughs> See, now you guys are confusing me with your lingo oh, over here. Wow. Yeah. What? Yeah, man. <laughs> That's what you, you just did right now. now. What's up with the vanilla? What up? Face? Actually, I had to yeah. hit you on that. What up, motherfucker? You. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker, you! But yeah, man, let's get back, switch gears real quick to the beef shit we was talking about earlier. Yeah, right. And um, did y'all hear Ti's comments? Because the shit was hilarious. Yeah, yeah. He you got heard sunned him. him. He sunned him kind of tough. I was, yeah. I was feeling, I was feeling a very loud um vibe of, of uh, calm down. Son. I'm about to play them right here because hey. basically, Shouty yeah. Low to give y'all the rundown on the Dun Dun song had a line in there that was basically dun, a jab dun. and a tip. 
And Fuck him. Basically saying, yeah, he needs to be acknowledged. So here goes T.I.'s response. So T.I. From Elena Main. Shorty uh-huh. Lowe in the Dun Dun song basically makes a statement, Bankhead needs to acknowledge me. Does Shorty Lowe want T.I., T.I.P., to acknowledge him? I mean, that's that's the question I want to ask. Does he want T.I. to acknowledge him? I believe so. Who else is from Bankhead that, you know, he would want to be acknowledged from? You know what I'm saying? I don't, man. I, dog, I don't even really know dude like that. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, I ain't really never had no bad words and then you know what I'm saying I see I speak I know other people who are around him like Moot B I know him real well that nigga sound Bill drunk Mark, I know he's him, sober you know than a motherfucker uh, you think so that's even Fabo I don't he, know he, him he as well yeah, he's going as to I jail Mook and Mark, but I know him more than I know Shouty I mean like who, I mean know. like come on dog who, 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 do you, who are you for real to be acknowledging <laughs> like that you son know? Get Son. in the game first. You know what I'm saying? All right. Get in the game. Get your name Put on your jersey. Points. Mm. You know, before you go to talking about, I wasn't considered for the MVP. I wasn't. Man, do do something worth considering first. <laughs> wow. You know what I'm saying? Wow. And then you may, maybe, just maybe, you will be acknowledged. That's <laughs> just like me saying, you know, you know me, if I were to come, if I were to first come out around, I'm serious and be like, how could Outkast say they from Atlanta didn't say or didn't say nothing about me? How could they say, right. man, home, ain't nobody thinking about you, man. Right. We've been, <laughs> and for real, had it not been for me, wouldn't nobody know where Bankhead was? Wow. Wasn't nobody over in London yelling Bankhead with me? <laughs> Bounce it out. <laughs> wasn't nobody on the West Coast hollering Bankhead and on up in New right. York? Wasn't nobody... Wasn't nobody respecting Bankhead nigga, outside man. Atlanta yeah. before <laughs> yours truly? So, wow. I mean, you know, to not acknowledge that fact is, I mean, a reflection of the hater in you. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Here's the mean, best part, man. though, man. But even still, dog, I wish him the best. I ain't, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He, right. he did. He's doing the best he can with what he got. <laughs> You know, and he's putting his little thing together. And he, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he, I guess, you okay. know, he's shocking the world in his own little way. <laughs> he's in his own little way. <laughs> wow. That's like, what you, like I, I, I use this analogy and this metaphor before, and I use it. Uh, I use it quite often because it's true. It's like a dog barking and howling <laughs> at the moon. <laughs> Now, that dog don't even know why he barking and howling at the moon. <laughs> the moon don't care. Uh-uh. Right. The moon is so far away, the dog can't touch the moon. <laughs> he can't shut the moon off. Uh-uh. The moon just sits there and it shines, <laughs> regardless. And eventually, the dog will get tired of barking, and he must, too, admire <laughs> right. the moon right. as it shines. Right. So just let the moon shine, dog. Just let the moon shine, dog. Oh, that's hard. That dude's God, fucked up. That Lee, is hard. Man, that shit was. You think he was drunk? He sounded like he it, sounded man. drunk. And I swear, there's one point in there I heard a sip. He was talking, and you heard that. And then you about to fuck he up got his, back to his shit. You about to fuck up his little situation. Nah, <laughs> I ain't trying to put him out, but hey, that's just what I heard, man. But no, that that shit. I mean, I like the way he addressed it because like Mac was saying earlier, I think. Shawty Lowe's reason for this beef is some bullshit. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's trying to take swipes Most of the definitely. dude while he's down. Right. You know what I'm saying? He had a low point, so it's a good chance for him to go ahead and try to get some shine and get some credibility right. off T.I.'s name. I've never said Shawty Lowe's name on this show. Yeah. And or I don't look, other show. Uh, yeah, and I don't look forward to mentioning it again, hopefully. Because, right. right. yeah, I mean, dude, just, I mean, he ain't hot, man. He's mm-hmm. not. Fuck him. He, he ain't that guy. Mm-hmm. But I like the way he handled it. But this is a good example of a dude coming at a guy who's already established. For what reason? Marketing. That's right. the only reason. Of it. What do you think about the little flip Ti shit? What's that, your opinion of that? That was legit. Just because Ti showing up because, at what is it, Clover, be, or whatever. Because it took all the way it's, down to a to fist fight uh, to get it yeah, to get it, went, it resolved. It got down to fist fight yeah. and then it started over. You know, basically over a title. The dude called himself the King of the South. And he disputed that. Went to his hometown and <laughs> apparently <laughs> made it known. So. Right. 
You know what I'm saying? That's some legitimate shit, man. And it wasn't no, uh, I'm, I'm starting my beef now and my album is coming right behind it. It wasn't right. that. It was a different scenario, man. So right. He was the ring ringtone king. No doubt. Of the South. But shoot, man, let's go ahead and jump into another banger, man. <laughs> Never mind. State of the Union, Woo! man. We oh, ain't played yes. this cast in a minute, man. No, Philadelphia PA stand-up, man. Stop Episode howling at the moon, 65. baby. 65. <laughs> 